Hey everybody, Steve here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I was here back in February of this year, 2021, just a few days after they placed the new headstone for Burt Reynolds and announced that he was buried here. And at that time, I forget how I heard or where it was announced, but they said that they would be placing a statue or a bust or something for the anniversary of his death, which was actually a week or so ago. And I was here two weeks ago searching to see if maybe the bust or statue was here yet, and it wasn't. So quite a few of you have left comments in the comment section letting me know that it was finally placed and finally unveiled. So I decided to make another trip here today to do a quick video to show those of you who haven't already seen it what it looks like. So when I was here a couple of weeks ago looking for Burt Reynolds' new statue or bust, I ran into Alan Ellenberger and we did a video. We actually did two videos together. I haven't uploaded them yet, but uh, they'll be coming soon. Alan is a historian, a cemetery historian, and he specializes in Hollywood forever. He does other cemeteries as well, but this is sort of your specialty, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I pulled up, and I guess you were just uh, pulling up at the same time. I'm here almost every Sunday walking. Are you? Okay, yeah. so, all right, so it was, it was kind of funny. It sort of felt like deja vu. I was like, well, didn't we just do this already <laughs> just recently? Yeah. So, anyway. What do you guys think? Now, uh, Alan was saying, Alan has a website, it's called Hollywoodland. It's actually his name though, alanellenberger.com. Right. And he said that he posted this, I guess it was, you were here for the unveiling? Right, I was last Monday they had the unveiling. So last Monday was the unveiling, and they had a movie too, right? right. Is, is it called I Am Burt Reynolds? I think so. Yeah, so I haven't seen it yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. And you were saying that you, you did a post, a photo and a post. On I did your, it on my um, Facebook page. Oh, on your Facebook. Cemetery of the Immortal. Okay, but it's not a video, it's just a photo, right? It's just photos, yeah. I just posted photos. Well, I went to your um, Facebook page. It's called Cemetery Immortal? Cemetery of the Immortal, yeah. Okay. That's, That's what they used to call the cemetery back in the 30s. Oh, they did? This cemetery? Yeah. Cool. Wow. But anyway, Alan was saying that he did a post and everyone started complaining that it doesn't look like Burt Reynolds, so what do you guys think? Let me turn the camera around. Um, at the unveiling, Lonnie Anderson and I think the artist said too that, that he, they, she took different photos from different type, parts of his career. You oh, know, and then kind and, of merged them? And, and kind of, yeah, kind of like that. That's, that's how I understood it too. I could be wrong, but that's how I understood it. Um, so Lonnie Anderson was here Lonnie and, Anderson and the artist. And um, uh, Burt's son. Quentin. Really? Yeah. How cool. Now, were there a lot of other people here too? Yeah, I'd say there, this was, um, I would say there was over a hundred people. Wow. And then they had the movie, what, an hour or two later? Yeah. About and, 7.30, quarter of eight or something. Okay, so the movie theater is just right on the side of the mausoleum there. Right. And they have a big open area where you can sit. And they just project it onto the side of uh, the white right. mausoleum like wall. Like they do every weekend when they have movies there. Yeah. So is it every weekend? Um, in the summertime. Nice. Yeah. Well, you know, I've been, I live in Palm Springs. It's like two, two and a half hours. Depending on the traffic, it could be four hours away. Yeah. So I've never come for the movies, but I'd love to one day. All right, so what do you guys think? Do you think this looks like a bird? I mean, it's really nice. I mean, it, you definitely, I think, would know it's a bird. Maybe it's not exactly like the photo. Like, here's his photo. But it's pretty close. And apparently Lonnie Anderson was pretty happy with it. What's that? I think it's more of an older version in the photo. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. It's probably an older version, so he looks a little bit different, but that's a really nice bust. And I really like the marble stand, too. Now, from this angle, it looks a lot like him. So I guess it just depends on the angle as well, you know? This is so cool that he's overlooking the lake here. Now, you know, I never noticed that. Is that a sarcophagus? Is that what you call that? Or a crypt? Yeah. A tomb? Or a... Yeah, they built that within the last year. Oh, they did? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if you can hear Alan. He's a little far away. He said they built that within the last year. Yeah, yeah I didn't think I'd ever noticed it. Do you know who it belongs to? Or is it for I, someone for the future? I don't think it's used yet. I think they just built it for the future. Whenever mm -hmm. they cleaned the lake, I don't know, were you here when they cleaned the lake? No. Um, that was about less than a year ago. But they put in these little... There's one there, and there's one there, little um, island or whatever. And this here, see this line along here? Yeah. 
this used to be the the edge of the the pond, and they filled it in. Oh. And put um, grave sites in here. So. Oh, okay. So this would have been originally the edge of the of the. Oh, you know, that is interesting. Yeah, you can kind of tell where the line is, huh? And they said that um, Lonnie told Tyler, the, the owner of the cemetery, that, you know, they want, since he's from Florida, they wanted a, a palm tree and near the water. Yeah. So they, they, this place was perfect, they say. This is really perfect. I mean, the view that he has overlooking this beautiful pond and... Yeah. And actually, the Hollywood sign is right behind him, but... Because of all these trees here, you can't really see it, but it's just like right up there. From certain angles here in the cemetery, you get a really nice view of the Hollywood sign. It's cloudy, What's that? It's cloudy too. Oh yeah, it's a really cloudy, ugly day. Was it a nice day when they did the unveiling? Yeah, it was in the evening, but yeah. Yeah, most of the time, it's really beautiful here. I most, Almost every time I've been here, it's been beautiful, but... It's always a nice breeze here. Yeah. So I don't know how I got the dates wrong. I, I thought the unveiling was next week, so <laughs> I'm glad that it's that he's here now. So, all right, well, thanks for joining us today, everybody, and we'll see you next time. See ya.